good afternoon everyone respected president dr d s thakre principal jd patel sanglu karma vidyalaya daryapur amravati and chief guest dr minal gupta post dr raman research institute of bangalore and convener of the program dr v d alkar and all faculty members present in this program and my colleague dr santosh uke and his team for calling me to give a lecture on the celebration of national science day 2022 my lecture is on the topic future prospective of energy storage first of all we discuss discuss about uh, source of electrical energy and uh, as you can see uh, in the pie chart here you can see that the major source of electrical energy are coal then natural gas nuclear and hydrogen and uh, in very less amount near about 5% are oil and only 3% uh, sources of uh, electrical energy are renewable source of energy like uh, wind energy solar energy etc but uh, there is a problem with renewable source of energy uh, what is the actual problem Uh, these uh, sources are not available uh, round the clock means uh, they are not available 24 into 7 for human beings or for use uh, means uh, like that uh, the sun solar energy is only available on day time and uh, wind and also wind energy is not available 24 hour so to store this energy means uh, for using when this this source is not available this energy needed to be stored so uh, this energy need to be stored for future and uh, when uh, for the time of when this energy is not uh, available some other example examples you can see clearly the need of energy storage uh, because some In, in advanced generation, there are some uh, <coughs> like this devices which have only which cannot be permanently connected with the source of energy. So this energy need to be stored. Stored. Uh, there are some example for mobile phone, PC, laptop, portable game device, PDA, smartphone, audio, and so many etc. Devices are like that uh, for need energy storage. and in the present time there is an another uh, major advantage of uh, energy storage in electric vehicle means this is the time for uh, electric vehicle time so this is uh, another need of uh, energy storage for electric vehicle like car scooty bike etc next is the major opportunity for energy storage through 2030 and beyond means as you can uh, see in this graph this is the stim stimulated data which was uh, generated by recent uh, researchers and available in this link and here yeah, we can see that in 2020 there is a very less Uh, energy storage is available uh, about 30 gigawatt power but uh, as we move toward the uh, next uh, in future uh, recent years there will be high uh, surely uh, this a prediction um, surely the world will uh, store energy up to 800 gigawatt up to 2050 So this is the prediction. It's the compound annual growth rate in a global supercapacitor market. Uh, now we talk about the uh, energy storage in some recent upcoming years and some future and this is present data. And uh, here you can see then 2014. This is the 0.46 US billion dollars. 
range of uh, energy storage and uh, as the time passed the, this range is continuously increased and we expected in up to 2025 it will be 8.33 usd dollar billion dollar revenue will be made up to 2025 means this the compound growth rate will become about 30 uh, percent in some upcoming recent years this is the future city energy storage city here in this city you can see that the every work uh, has been working done by energy storage like that this is the uh, solar roof top panels and this energy is stored by uh, batteries or storage system and this uh, energy is supplied to the cars and uh, electric vehicle and buses and any work uh, in the market can be done by this energy storage and this energy can be also be stored by wind energy and uh, hydrogen storage is also a part so this is the model of uh, ideal energy storage city next this is the energy storage device here the energy storage devices are seen in this image here basically we can classify the energy storage system in four parts first is the fuel cell conventional capacitor battery and super capacitor fuel cells are the cells uh, as the name suggested in fuel cells uh, the energy is generated by the fuel like uh, process is existing in the cells and conventional capacitor is, the, is also known as condenser and uh, which is a common example and you can see all many times see in the fan and etc they are also available and battery is the second part uh, or another part of energy storage this is a very common example of energy storage means uh, the two different electrodes and electrical item fill in a box uh, and charging discharging process in continuously ongoing and there are so many examples of laptop battery mobile battery and the uh, inverter battery and they are this is a very common battery and now we comes uh, to super capacitor super capacitor are also an energy storage device which are very different from conventional capacitor and battery and uh, how uh, super capacitor as the name suggests it means super and capacitor and uh, capacitor um, basically capacitors are such energy storage devices which have uh, high power but low energy and battery are such devices which have high energy but low power then super capacitor are those devices which have higher power density than capacitor and higher energy density than battery so this is a very common and new research is focusing on energy storage Based super super capacitor. Before studying super capacitor, I will let's small talk on super capacitor. Capacitor, formerly known as condenser, is a device that store energy charges, and you can uh, see this type of capacitors uh, many times in your near about palaces. So the super capacitor performance uh, or its capacitance is uh, measured in the farad so usually the capacitance uh, is of like this devices are in the range of picofarad or microfarad picofarad means 10 minus to power about uh, 15 farad and uh, microfarad 10 to power minus 6 farad that means 0 0.0006 6 times 0 and then 1 farad but this capacitance is very small uh, but how we can move up to one farad 
So this is the challenge for making such type of super capacitors, which have high capacitance and uh, can deliver the high power in performance. So this is the scale and you can, here you can take an idea uh, what is the size of this capacitor, conventional capacitors. Now we talk about type of capacitors. Basically here we are classifying these capacitors into three types, conventional capacitor, electrostatic capacitor and super capacitor. First of all, uh, we are in, these are arranging in order of increasing capacitance. First of all, we talk about uh, conventional capacitor. This is a, a very general information and almost students are known. Uh, read for understanding this in the 11th, 12th class. When electric potential is applied across the conductor, the electron being flow in the charge accumulation of each, con each conductor. Means each plates, uh, every plates have accumulation of electrons and this pro and when we connect this is a load and the charging and discharging process continuously processed and this is the formula for capacitance c equal to q upon v uh, or and uh, work energy half cv square now you can imagine that uh, how how one farad uh, current can be flow in a capacitor and this is a very uh, simple approximation. Uh, one farad capacitance uh, can be a, a capacitor gives a one farad of capacitance when six into ten six point two eight into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb of nineteen electrons uh, flow and one through each electrode and charge of one coulomb electric charge passes in one volt. Then the capacitance will be one farad means q1 v1 in both things will be one then the one capacitor one farad uh, charge will be so the capacitance will become of a capacitor that means q equal to 6.2 times minus 19 electrons it means electrons uh, electrode per jama hongi remove hongi tab ja karke hamara um, one coulomb sorry one unit uh, farad capacitance super capacitor Second one is uh, electrolytic capacitor. This is the uh, image of electrolytic capacitor. And here you can see that an ion conducting electrolyte as one of its plate. Since this is an anode, is oxidized oxide layer. And here electrolyte is filled. And here a paper like separately placed. And this will become an electrolytic capacitor. Since here electrolyte is filled in between two plates and addition of uh, ions on the electrode surface and removal of ions this takes place and this type of capacitor is electrolytic capacitor this is a higher capacitance than conventional capacitor or ordinary capacitor here uses uh, high current and low frequency electric circuit power supply filter store charge need to moderate output voltage and current fluctuations in rectifier circuit coupling capacitor in ac in uh, where ac should be conducted and dc should not be should need to be blocked okay next we move about electro chemical super capacitor as the name says super capacitor first of all the basic uh, construction about uh, super capacitor gives by helm holes in 1879 and uh, he said that the ions uh, added on the electrode electrolyte interface and it's a typical value up to 120 to 40 microfarad per centimeter square for liquid electrolyte interface and here is the major role of uh, distance and here distance is found very uh, thin up to 10 10 angstrom and due to this uh, the capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance so the huge capacitance is found in this type of super capacitor and electrochemical double layer is uh, also a super capacitor and here you can also see that there is the 
distance between negative ion to positive ion is uh, very less or nearly about to size of uh, one ion. So here the uh, very less distance between the electrode sorry, ions layer and it become a double layer. And so this is called double layer capacitor and uh, found highest capacitance in this type of electrochemical double layer capacitor or super capacitor. Here the porous uh, carbon versus collect porous carbon based EDLC uh, and sort diagram is a charging in this diagram is showing the charging and discharging of uh, capacitor both different electrodes let c1 is the one electrode and c2 is the uh, second electrode and here um, let us suppose the carbon is used as a, or pasted on the electrode and uh, as we connected this is a positive load and the negative ions of the electrolyte is added on the positive ions and when it is a charged state these uh, this type of uh, formation will be formed on the electrode negative positive electrode and in case of negative electrode uh, when we connect with negative load for charging and then these uh, neg electrode behaves as negative and all positive ions is added on this surface and capacitor becomes fully charged and when it getting discharged or uh, when we reverse the load then these positive they repels negatives and uh, all positive negative mix in the electrolyte or in between or leaves the electrode surface and this is the charging discharging process of super capacitor this is the native surface charge and here uh, this is the imagination that uh, how much surface area will be available of the electrode surface and same will be the capacitance will be found of a device so as uh, this is positive then the negative ions or this electrolyte fully filled in the on the surface and charging charging discharging process uh, highly capacitance will be formed by this type of super capacitors. Now we we'll, uh, let's talk about uh, energy density and power density and as you can see in the left side image power density power den power means uh, in which can deliver uh, maximum energy in short time this is the high power means and where the same things it delivered by slowly and for long time this is the energy type so energy density and power density is the, uh, very related to this this is the Reagan plot between power density and uh, energy density and uh, we can check our device in this Reagan plot and uh, we can take decision where our research should be moved or which side our research should be moved so as you can see that fuel cells are the devices which have high energy density but lower power density in the range of 10 raised to power 2 watts per kg but battery are the devices which have higher power density as compared to fuel cells but low and low little bit lower energy and we move we talk about super capacitor are such energy storage devices which have um, high power density always uh, as well as uh, high energy density or uh, moderate energy density and power density and capacitor are which devices which have high uh, power density up to 10 to power 4 to 10 to power 7 watt per kg range and actually we need such devices which have high power density as well as high energy density so our research is totally focused toward making such devices which have high energy as well as high power density so uh, in this range, the best uh, scope is found the super capacitor may be getting or this uh, research work is 
focusing toward high energy density devices as well as high power density devices. Now, let me um, check some parameters, the factor affecting the energy density of a supercapacitor. So energy density formula equal to half CV square means C and V, these two factors are directly proportional to energy density. Now we check uh, which are the factors of uh, in affecting energy and sorry, and uh, affecting capacitance and uh, which factors uh, affecting voltage. Here surface area means of uh, electrode which have high surface area, there sure will be, there will be high uh, number of uh, ions uh, adsorption, desorption uh, process can be takes place and high energy capacitance will be found. Second is uh, pore size. Pore size means there uh, there will be high pores, then there will be high um, adsorption, desorption takes place. And next one is functional group. Means uh, suppose we fabricate some uh, like uh, high or more functional group available materials, then there will be high charge available on the surface and there will be high energy. And electrical conductivity means high electrical conductivity obviously gives high charge. And in case of voltage, organic electrolytes are uh, such electrolytes which have high voltage window can be available for uh, high energy density and ionic liquids asymmetric supercapacitor and battery type supercapacitor also some example to increase the voltage range and asymmetric supercapacitor means which uh, supercapacitor has uh, different uh, electrodes uh, different material electrodes are called simply asymmetric supercapacitors and battery supercapacitor hybrid means uh, such devices which have one electrode is battery type and other electrode is supercapacitor type hybrid. These are the also helps to enhance the voltage window and uh, overall enhance the energy density of the device. Now, this is another image for comprising supercapacitor and battery. As uh, you can see, uh, Usain Bolt and uh, Lehman, there will be strong mechanism in, in supercapacitor, surface phenomena, limited storage capacity, and low and en lower energy density, but high power and electro electro interface very fast, no chemical reaction involved, and high life cycle means they can you know, uh, work for a long time, number of cycles maybe more than battery and high power as compared to battery. But in storage mechanism in battery, the bulk phenomena, more surface area available, accumulation of ion, high energy density involve chemical reaction, slow electron transfer and low power density. This is the only difference between supercapacitor and battery. Next. This is another comparison of uh, supercapacitor battery and uh, electrostatic capacitor parameters. Now let uh, just we talk about uh, discharging time. So battery has discharging time usually 3.3 hour to three hours. And as compared to electrostatic capacitor, very fast charging and discharging in 10 millisecond to microsecond range. And in case of supercapacitors, the charging and discharging times uh, are found about uh, 0.3 to 30 seconds. And energy density of uh, battery is found 10 to 100 watt hour per kg. But in case of uh, electrostatic is found uh, 0.1 and but supercapacitor found uh, 1 to 10 watt hour per kg means the energy density of battery is uh, much higher than the supercapacitor. But the power density of uh, supercapacitors are uh, higher than battery. And cycle life, this is uh, another very great advantage of supercapacitors. This means uh, a supercapacitor can be charged or discharged up to one lakh or more than lakh uh, times uh, 
charging discharging process can be possible on the supercapacitor electrode but in case of battery it is uh, very limited to 500 to 2000 or 2000 cycle and in electrostatic static we may, may be 5 lakh uh, cycle time charging discharging uh, so but uh, as we seen all compare all the parameters with battery and supercapacitor I mean, these are all such type of parameter uh, such type of data is uh, available here uh, that we can get a high uh, high or more we can see moderate between battery and electrostatic capacitor for uh, uh, but uh, when we need or small time and high power then we need or we use supercapacitor these are the some small uh, some advantages of supercapacitors high power density and as we seen the slide and long cycle life up to one lakh or more than this and ability to store store and uh, release the energy within the time frame of a few seconds mean about the second that we charge the discharge is not possible hai. high reliability and battery safety than battery reliability and better safety than battery yes sure is the uh, high reliability and better and low maintenance cost in all solid state device the solid state device means uh, there is no or very um, on some there are some solid electrolytes and also some gel type electrolytes means where uh, there is no chance of leakage and etc as as in battery and low cost material can be used to fabricate uh, super capacitation another advantage uh, this is uh, now we comes about uh, physics uh, super capacitor parameters I mean super capacitor performance can be checked by the usually three parameters cyclic voltammetry gcd charge discharge and uh, impedance spectroscopy and here we talk about the cv cyclic voltammetry uh, this is the general formula for calculate the specific capacitance of a device and cs equal to half m nu del v and this is the area under the curve and in experimentally this can be calculated by the data directly data in origin software and directly can be measured for super capacitors m is the mass and the mu is the scan rate in volt per second and vc and vc and these are the voltage window and between these voltage range is super capacitor is charged and discharged and so cyclic voltammetry performance uh, can be analyzed by this uh, formula after device and next super capacitor parameter uh, gcd this is the formula for calculating the charge discharge and, uh, and here by this performance we can analyze the uh, discharging time and charging time of a device at any particular current and in, within voltage is the formula for energy density equal to half cs va minus pc minus pa pound square and so the uh, cs is the specific capacitance that is calculated by the gcd or cv and vc and va are the charge anode and cathode voltage and their different square this is the power density formula p is the e upon td e means energy density upon uh, discharging time and retention of specific capacitance is calculated by td upon tc means retention capacitance means uh, after uh, some definite uh, 2000 or 5000 or 5000 cycles uh, then how much capacitance is uh, being available in the device is how much uh, efficiency is decreases after charging discharging of 2000 cycles or any any different cycle any cycle cycle drain now this is a very interesting slide about uh, what are the application of super capacitors first of all in this image uh, uh, some people are also known about uh, this this is the regenerative brake model uh, regenerative brake model what is actually the regenerative brake model uh, this is a must uh, you expect all and know about Faraj uh, Mazda this is also called Mazda regenerative brake model is a uh, automobile company and they make uh, this uh, model and in this model uh, as we as a driver applied brake 
and then this uh, momentum as the our vehicle momentum and this pressure affected uh, on or moving this uh, tire or in this pulley and uh, here is capacitor device is involved and this energy uh, helps to move this uh, dynamo and this mechanical energy is converted into electric energy and a uh, capacitor getting charged and when the brake released or when we need to un uh, again accelerate our device uh, then he need uh, high energy and this super capacitor device again reply this electrical energy and this again converted into the mechanical energy and this energy is helps to accelerate our electric vehicle this is the regenerative brake model with the very great application and very number of uh, automobile companies are using gently using this model and this is the another example of a super capacitor application this is the electric bus in Shanghai, China, and uh, they are uh, making uh, like this uh, energy storage, super capacitor energy storage systems on uh, 10 or sorry, uh, one kilometer after two kilometers means like Delhi, like cities where there is a very, um, there are a number of stops between uh, very less distance. So, but they're actually performing here uh, as the bus stops, for taking passengers then the bus getting charged by here available super capacitors and bus getting charged because the electric bus getting charged in few seconds only 30 seconds 20 seconds up to the passengers will get in the bus and as the passenger sit the bus will be fully charged and the bus is again start and moves and is charged and can be moved up to next charging station and the passengers uh, will also need uh, to some board and deboard uh, the next station so this process is continuously um, processed and this is a very uh, popular model in china for this bus is totally super capacitor based bus and uh, here is the uh, launching vehicle is also used so uh, super capacitor for uh, launching because uh, when the launching vehicle is launched and there needs a high power to initiate so super capacitors is like this devices which have high power to enhance uh, uh, or launch the electric launch this launch vehicle these are power fluctuations of in when so there some time there will be any power fluctuations for one or two minutes then the super capacitor devices handle this uh, power fluctuations and another example or another use of the resistor sorry super capacitors are to start our electric vehicles in the super capacitor high power so they can easily start our device and when the car is started and then they again charge and this process can be repeated again and again. Now the advantage of super capacitors, I think uh, I'm covering almost uh, of them. We'll do a little bit history of uh, super capacitors. Means the uh, basic or uh, first time capacitors are been discovered in 1740 by Leiden Leiden jar models and after the supercapacitor is Helmholtz layer is performed as I discussed in the double layer capacitor and then both Chapman further modified this model and Stern modified and this completely double layer form and supercapacitor uh, comes into existence and first EC patented by General Electric Company and after that uh, in up to 1971 pseudo capacitors in oxidation reaction based supercapacitor is uh, formed for next generation and after that 1990 they developed the DOE in 1919 development of asymmetric means a different electrode based supercapacitor is fabricated and after 2000 the research of the data increased 
and in these days uh, thousands of paper per month is published in different uh, energy storage journals the classification of supercapacitors we will talk uh, about here about classification of supercapacitor basically on the basis of charge storage mechanism supercapacitor can be classified into the three types electric double layer pseudo capacitor hybrid capacitors electric double layer as we always uh, already discussed very electrolyte electro electrode electrolyte interface that ions adsorption desorption takes place and uh, there is a thin layer of atomic distance and high capacitance is formed found by these and there will be active they may be activated carbon carbon aerogel or carbon nanotube based pseudo capacitors are the capacitors which have uh, charge stored on uh, electrolyte by um, uh, chemical uh, reaction type uh, capacitors are pseudo capacitors means um, MnAd2O and uh, they formed MnO2 and there uh, again Mn and O are breakdown and this type of chemical reaction continues performed on the in electrolyte and electrode these are also classified as conducting polymer based and metal oxides metal oxide based uh, ruthenium oxide uh, and uh, manganese oxide are very interesting examples or working on this and conducting polymers these are polymers which have a uh, conducting in nature and there may be one adsorption or the uh, mm, one ions of negative or positive added and removed on this uh, very electrode electrolyte and this performance is continuous and these are hybrid capacitor hybrid are the capacitors which have uh, mm -hmm making by combining of two different type of electrodes or different things and this is the first uh, composite means when one electrode is uh, is making by two or three different uh, pure materials and found make it composite and symmet uh, asymmetric uh, capacitor super capacitor means where one electrode is one type and another type, other uh, type of material is asymmetric super capacitor and battery type uh, means when one electrolyte sorry one electrode mechanism is like battery and other uh, is super capacitors is the carbon activated carbon this porous this example of pseudo capacitors charge storage mechanism of uh, pseudo capacitor let's so talk about the uh, what actually going on or what students uh, need to do when they start of research on supercapacitors this is the research methodology first of all uh, we need to synthesize our material or nanoparticles by different methods we usually synthesize material by hydrothermal method and then we need to characterize XRD, SAM, TAM, EDX, FTIR, Raman, etc. These characterizations need to be uh, characterizations need to analyze uh, what actually being formed or uh, is it will be useful or how its performance will be helpful for supercapacitors. Next step is the fabrication of supercapacitor. Supercapacitor is fabricated by uh, it's very simple. Then first we take one electrode and uh, put a separator on the electrode and some drop of electrolyte and another electrode is placed in sandwich like uh, fabrication of supercapacitor device and after that electrochemical characterization needs to be needed means uh, what is the supercapacitor performance as we already discussed in last slides about uh, CVG, CD and EIS formula so this is the process uh, how a super capacitor is uh, can be fabricated or this research work can be proceed for future in super capacitor these are the simple steps for hydrothermal synthesis actually i done this work at uh, this college in your college jd patel dallas and Luker. And should discuss about this. There is a hydrothermal synthesis method 
first of all we ground our grind our powder or our chemicals and mix then we magnetic sterilize and mix these with the uh, for chemical reaction solution and then we convert into a high teflon hydrothermal reactor and then in oven in, in oven a fixed temperature there will be some reaction and material will be formed and the particle will be formed then they washed and uh, they finally dried and to form the final product this is the material characterization as we already discussed at the same time sorry at krx etc then the fabrication of super capacitor and electrochemical characterization this is the instrument by which a super capacitor can be tested or uh, it can be fabricated this is the our uh, material that we have synthesized and this is the pvdf for binder and this is the conducting materials and we mix them in a fin fixed ratio like 80 10 10 ratio and then we make a paste and this is the graphite electrode these are the electrodes and we paste this material on our electrodes and uh, making like this a uh, super capacitor and uh, can be seen here we put our super capacitor and uh, we used um, like this this is our uh, ch instrument where the super capacitor can be characterized and the performance of super capacitor is analyzed these are some my research articles in the this is tea assist hydrothermal synthesis of radical beta amino to nano words and the effect of surface morphology on capacitor performance this is my phd work also and here we make uh, mno2 based super capacitor and uh, performing there the super capacitors which uh, are uh, fabricated by at 100 degrees celsius uh, in uh, autoclave we found the highest specific capacitance and uh, here we found the 90.26% uh, uh, overall capacitance after 2000, 2000 cycles and the high energy density of 9.72 and power dense and like this this is our another uh, article in low temperature synthesis of mno2 same method and but uh, we synthesis here at lower temperature and here we found high specific capacitance and this is our group uh, another research articles concentration dependent electrochemical performance of adic choline chloride electrolyte here we check the performance of a electrolytic uh, concentration in so how much concentration will help the enhancing the super capacitor performance another this is a, another uh, our review articles there are advanced and current scenario of engineering and design in transparent super capacitor electrode in this uh, article uh, we have reviewed some like about 100 more than 100 papers uh, about uh, transparent super capacitor electrode so and uh, how we can make a transparent with uh, which we are trying to make uh, such a, a window which have transparent and solar panel panel is available on the lower side and upper side of our device and as the light falls on the solar the window is indeed uh, is become a storage system as well as uh, energy receiver or make solar system as well as another preparation of uh, electrochemically stable choline chloride is in so chloride sugar based sustainable electrolyte and study of effect of water in their electrochemical behavior this is another review of five conjugate polymer based super capacitors thank you for your attention any query any question and for any query you can email or contact me on this phone number now this session is open for question any question